need to deeply elaborate on veterans because, you know, the word veteran really basically means a bunch of veterinarian, one who works on animals. They got the Aryan, and it's basically the animals. There's a word on animals. So, so uh, vets were, and we know this, vets are usually human beings that were treated like dogs, that were treated like animals to go fight a war for somebody. I don't feel bad for a vet in one way, only because the whole system was confused. That's why I don't feel bad for a vet. In a personal way, I do, especially if they're stuck in the vet idea. The problem is, yesterday was yesterday. For everyone and everything, you were a vet. Get it out of your head, it's over with. Or if you're in the military and you really have a realization, get out of it. Or if you're running the military and you have a realization, start disassembling them and start forming peace ambassador ally groups so you can talk to other countries and actually make peace, not war. But with all that being said, I'm not trying to in any way put veterans down. I'm just trying to clue people in on what's really happening, and they have to understand this. They didn't get up one day and say, hey, I want to go fight a war. They signed up for a thing they think is a country, which is a massive land that has a bunch of people that look different than other people on a different massive land. And if those people can get along on, on different states or across the creek or across the lake, they can get it along across an ocean. And they need to get that through their thick skulls and stop thinking that they're more powerful than other people. So the veterans, I feel bad for the idea that they went out and they fought a war, but they were fighting against ourselves, not against another country, not against other people, not against whatever. They were fighting against ourselves, simply put. So that's why I don't feel bad for veterans. I feel bad for anyone who thinks war is a good idea. One who's in it, one who's out of it, one who wants to be it, one who's done it, one who hasn't done it, one who thinks about it. I feel bad for them, personally. When it comes down to it, it's all part of the game and we can learn from it. It's not a game. I'm just not trying to worry too bad about the words because it's more important to get the message and everyone simply understands things better when you put them in smaller words or things they can relate to. So we need to realize that war and military are just a negative thing, period. There's nothing good about it. You're not if you have nothing to worry about, you have nothing to defend. You only have something to grow. Once you stop worrying about defending, just like your body, when it stops worrying about defending and then fighting off a sickness, it can grow and it can be healed. The world will never heal if we keep trying to defend ourselves and worrying about prevention. Fucking get it through your heads. That is the answer. Bam.